is it's um, unique in that it actually compares two different amyloid lowering antibodies in the same trial. So, and the main outcome outcomes here were the degree of amyloid lowering uh, at six months. The trial is ongoing and there will be 12 month data reported this summer and there'll be 18 month data to follow after that. Um, but uh, these are patients with early Alzheimer's disease that either followed the FDA guidelines for aducanumab or the clinical trial criteria for denanumab. And they were both dosed monthly following the titration schedule as outlined either in the prescribing information or trial um, protocol. And so that meant there's a slower titration for aducanumab that takes place over six months where people uh, and the nanomab arm got to the higher dose earlier and had greater exposure to higher dose. So, and the main outcome, it showed that denanomab had significantly higher rate of amyloid lowering at six months than aducanumab. Um, and that seemed to be relatively safe. There was, the rates of ARIA were similar between the two drugs. Um, so denanumab was able, using that titration scheme, um, a quicker titration scheme was able to get more substantial amyloid lowering in a shorter amount of time. And that may be important. Again, amyloid lowering, uh, the degree of amyloid lowering and the speed of which it's lowered and obviously needs to be done safely could be important for clinical benefit. Um, another thing that was encouraging is that Denanomab also showed that there was a significant decrease in uh, P tau 217 in the blood. So this may be a marker of target engagement and perhaps of treatment response, though we need more information for that, um, than, uh, than aducanumab. And we'll see how the data look at 12 months when there's a higher exposure to aducanumab. Uh, but at least at six months, Denanomab had a greater effect on amyloid lowering and on lowering of PTAP and without causing additional safety concerns, at least in this data set, there were no deaths related to the ARIA.